Hello, dear colleagues. I'm sure you will all agree that the beginning of the lesson is very important. Good begun is half done. But when the lesson starts, uh, the teacher and the students, they are like from two different worlds. The students are excited after the break, don't want to focus on anything, don't want to be serious. And the teacher, the teacher goes like, Oh, my objectives, uh, present simple, past simple, past continuous, test, exercise. So something should be done to put them together, to tune in before you actually start teaching. I often use a warming up game, Liar Liar. It's a game by teacher Charles from Ghana, who was my colleague in China. An absolutely amazing teacher who generously shared his ideas with a young trainee. Thank you, teacher Charles. Thank you. I've played this game so many times and my students are just crazy about it. This game works best for elementary students at primary school and it has actually no rules. It's a lot of fun, no winners, no losers. The teacher's aim is to tell a hilarious, far from being true story with the students' names in it and the aim of the students is to correct fake news by making sentences in past simple and past continuous. All your students have to do is just to listen to the teacher shout liar, liar if they hear any fake news. After all of these how are you, I'm fine, thank you things, pretend like you've suddenly remembered something. Oh, Mandy, I saw you in the zoo yesterday. Mandy, me? No, yes, yes, it was you. And you were swimming in the pool with crocodiles. No, no, liar. I wasn't swimming with crocodiles. I was doing my homework yesterday. Do you want to say I'm a liar? Hmm. And students shout, liar, liar. Let me think. Mandy, you were not alone. You were with Jimmy, Jimmy, you were there, weren't you? No, I wasn't there. No, you were there and you kissed a chimpanzee and your grandfather gave you five dollars. No, my grandfather didn't give me any money yesterday and I didn't kiss any chimpanzees. My students like this activity a lot and sometimes when I enter the classroom they say Jenny can I be the storyteller for Liar Liar and of course I say you're most welcome and they make up the story in past simple past continuous they correct everything and the lesson is moving on swiftly and gently with great results I'm so happy if you like games and activities like this, don't forget to check out the link in the description box to download my ebook, Teach Without Stress. I put all my soul into this book and it contains a lot of valuable pieces of advice how to teach creatively and without much effort. This is what it says, great lessons without great efforts. Now. Uh, Inside, there are tips of advice for every month, and every month is devoted to a specific topic, specific problem that a teacher can face, like classroom management, motivation and engagement, routine and lesson planning. For example, December, routine and lesson planning. Week one, feedback box. Week two, switch the mode. Week three, Week three, can you see it? Week three, thank you for the lesson. Week four, finger, finger on the book. So all of these tips of advice, uh, I tried them so many times. They really work, they are efficient. So try it. Don't forget, teach without stress.